YouTube, what's poppin'? Y'all, it's your boy D Hyde. Just wanna welcome you guys back to the channel. Now, as you guys can see, this is me, man. Straight out the bed, directly in front of this camera to show you guys how the beard looks in the morning, man. All right? And um, it looks crazy just about every morning, man, depending on how I sleep. But this is the beard, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys the steps that I take when I go in the shower as far as how I condition my beard, how I clear out my beard and the products that I use just about every single day. Some of my basic core products that I use on my beard, all right? Now, with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how I go from this to this. Let's get it popping. Now, the first thing I would do, obviously, when I get up is get my butt in the shower, right? So what I like to do is condition my beard in the shower, do my whole process of just kind of getting the conditioner deep into my beard, massaging it, and then taking the comb and just kind of clearing out the beard, let the conditioner sit in while I do the rest. And then the last thing I'll do is rinse out the conditioner, okay? Now, doing that whole process and explaining everything inside the shower is a lot harder, even though that whole process, doing it in the shower is a lot easier, okay? Because you have the water constantly running down on you um, you know, it lets the whole beard up super easy rather than me being in the sink doing this whole process. But I'm not really able to kind of go into detail. That's why I'm going to show you guys here in front of the sink. Okay. Now I did shoot a small video just to kind of give you guys an example of how this whole process looks in the shower compared to the sink. Again, inside the shower, this process is way easier. All right. But what I want to do is show you guys exactly some of the things that I use and some of the steps that I go through when it comes to doing this uh, morning routine in the shower. Now, first things first, right? When you get in the shower, obviously you're gonna have that nice warm or steamy water hitting you and it'll be able to kind of loosen up the beard really well. Okay, now as you guys can see, my beard is super dry right now and um, it's just hella thick and um, knotted up, you know what I mean? So if I was to try to take a pic to my beard right now, it's, not happening at all, all right? Very, especially up under here. This is like damn near impossible. You guys see that? And that's what I'm dealing with on a regular basis when it comes to my, my beard. And that's one of the main reasons why I condition my beard in the shower and um, do the whole process because that really helps to kind of um, untangle the hair and get it kind of how I want it before applying my products to my beard, okay? So the first thing I do once I'm in the shower is just wet the beard up real nice, all right? Just kind of prep it for the conditioning, okay? So let me go ahead and wet up the beard. All right, so now that the beard is nice and wet, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just use a little bit of the condition, okay? Now, because I condition my beard just about every morning, again, this helps with my process because my beard is really thick up under here. So just adding a little bit of conditioner to the beard really helps to kind of loosen up the beard and um, get everything kind of untangled, you know, and uh, soften. But because I condition my beard just about every morning, I don't use a lot, all right? Just a little bit of this conditioner goes a long way. So I don't really have to use a lot of it, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just massage this into the beard. So as you guys can see, just with a combination of the water and a little bit of the conditioner, it really helps to loosen up the beard already, okay? Now from this point, what I like to do is just take my white tooth comb, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the beard. So once I'm done clearing the beard, I'll go ahead and finish taking a shower, finish everything off, the last thing I'll do is I'll come back and rinse the beard. So when I rinse my beard, I typically just have the water um, hitting the beard and I'll just take the comb and clear it out one more time to get all the conditioner out. And then from there, I'll start my process of applying my products. All right, so now this is the process where I'm pretty much out the shower and now I'm about to apply my products. So the first thing I'll do is just dry the beard up a little bit. All right, so now that I've dried the beard a little bit, it's still wet on the inside. It's not dripping wet, but it's definitely wet um, on the inside of the beard. And keeping it like this, for me personally, 
um, just makes applying my oil a lot better. You know, for some reason people will say, you know, oil and water don't mix, which is true, you know, but when it comes to me applying my oil to my beard like this, it just, it works way better for me. I think it helps kind of spread the oil a lot better through the beard. And um, it just makes my beard look a lot better doing it this way, okay? Now, this oil that I use is my own personal mix. Um, I've actually shown you guys how to make your own oil. If you guys click on the card that pops up, it takes you through a step-by-step um, -step on how to make a really decent basic oil, all right? And the reason why I like using this oil so much is because it has everything in it that my beard likes. This is the oil that I use just about every single morning when it comes to just getting that initial oil to my skin. And it's for me, it's just because I like what I mix into my oils. You know, I love Jamaican black castor oil, um, like apricot oil. Some of the oils that I use in this mix it really works well with my beard. Now, when it comes to how much oil I actually use on my beard, this all varies depending on the person and how big your beard is, you know? So for me, I would go with maybe like six to seven drops of oil. What was that, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do eight, right? So about eight drops of oil for me um, in the morning, typically, you know, sometimes less, sometimes more, depending but I like to get it to my fingertips and just massage this into my beard. And I can pretty much feel my beard when I'm doing this and I can tell if I probably need more, you know? So a lot of times I'll start from here and I'll work my way up, but then sometimes I feel like I need a little bit more like in this side right here. And I'll go ahead and add a little bit more oil to my beard, all right? And I like to get this on a stash, and you can even put this on the eyebrows, you know, or just massage it into your head a little bit. All right, so now that we have the oil in, um, the next step will be to pick the beard out. Now, there's two things I can do here in the morning, and sometimes it varies. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and style the beard and I'm done with it with just the oil. Other days, depending on how my beard feels, I'll add a little bit of um, unrefined shea butter to my beard just pure unrefined shea butter. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that in a minute. But for right now, let's just say for example, I got the oil in my beard and I'm not applying anything else to my beard, but I'm just gonna style the beard. And the way I style my beard is pretty much I'll come down, right? I'll come down like this with this with this afro pick. And I really like this pick because it picks the beard out really well, all right? But again, I'm gonna flatten out the beard, especially on the top right here and down in here. And then from this stage, I'm gonna come up and pick the beard like this. And this is a really quick routine that I do in the morning when it comes to conditioning and then applying the oils to my beard. Now when it comes to those days where I wanna apply a little bit of shea butter to the beard also, all I would do is just take the raw shea butter, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys how this thing looks when you break it down. It comes out pretty easy. And that's how it looks in the hand. And what I'm gonna do here is just break it down, all right? And this shea butter actually has like a nice little sheen to it too. Not too shiny, but it's gonna give your beard a nice, a nice glow, all right? Now after applying the shea butter, I'm gonna come back with my pick, do the same process. So once I'm done doing that, I can pat it down a little bit just to make sure everything is nice and even. And I'm pretty much ready to kickstart my day, man. Again, this is my morning routine. This is something that I do just about every single day. Give or take the shea butter. I don't do the shea butter every day, but I do apply my oil to my beard every single morning when I take a shower, exactly how I showed you guys, okay? And then when it comes to the shea butter, I would add that to my beard probably about two to three times a week. I don't like adding a lot to it, or doing it every day because it does build up. As you guys can see, this is some, uh, it's pretty thick, okay? So 
just like any other product, you keep applying to your beard over and over again, um, it will start to uh, to uh, cause product buildup, okay? And that's why I kind of stretch it out. But Shea Butter is a really, really good choice when it comes to just um, adding it to the top of the beard and giving your beard a nice sheen along with the oils that you use. And um, you're good to go. Now, a lot of times on the weekend, I will add different things to my routine. You know, I have a crap load of products in my medicine cabinet um, that has like signature scents or a particular smell when it comes to that to that product. You know, it's unique within itself, again, when it comes to the smells. And depending on how I'm feeling, depending on what I want to rock, that's what I'll wear, you know, when it comes to the oils and the butters. So that's pretty much my morning routine, man. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the video was helpful. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, man. Um, let me know what kind of routine you're doing. You know what I mean? If you're using a particular product or if you're doing it a particular way, I would love to hear your feedback in the comment section. And like always, man, you guys enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Stay blessed. It's your boy D. Hyde. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out.